So you want to achieve your goals. Now that it's a new year, this is the best time to start planning and setting those goals. So last week I discussed your vision board and how to create one. So now it's time to gain more knowledge on goal setting and planning so that you can execute this year with ease. Let's get started. Hey guys, it's Deandra and I'm back with another video. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about goal setting, specifically how to goal set for this year. Now, I know a lot of people make New Year's resolutions and they usually fall by the wayside about two to three months in. The reason for this is the goals are not measurable and people usually don't have the proper systems to execute the goal. If you want to achieve a goal, you need to get clear on what it is and have a plan on how to get there. So in this video, I will help you out with that. All right, so I'm gonna give you a few tips. So tip number one is to start with the big picture. Envision how you want to be by the end of 2023. What is December 2023 you look like? What have you accomplished? What risks did you take? What businesses did you start? What relationships you've created? So now in order to go about it, you need to ask yourself a couple questions. What goals do you want to achieve? If you want to start a business, what products do you want to offer? How much money do you need to start your business? What systems do you need in place to run your business smoothly? So on and so forth. Once you have all of those down, then you can start creating systems for each goal. So once you know the answers to these questions, you can move on to the next step. Now that you have the bigger picture, now you can take the goals that you wrote down and you break them down into actionable steps. So for example, to start a business, first you need to do the researching, research your competition, then you need to create an ideal client and create your target market. So once you have that step in place, then you're going to move into maybe looking for suppliers or looking for systems to run your business efficiently. And you're going to go into also registering your business, getting all of the licensing, bank accounts, so on and so forth. So write all of those steps down. You know what steps you need to take next. And I would say do this in like checkbox form so that you can just check off everything that you achieved. And that's honestly the best feeling you can get is when you cross something off your list knowing you're getting closer and closer to your goal. Each task should be specific so that the goal is achievable within a certain time frame. So make sure that you write down the specific details of each task. Step number three, create milestones. So milestones help you track your progress. When you have a milestone step and you achieve that goal, it keeps you motivated. So going back to the business example, if you say, for instance, I want to find a web designer and create a logo. The logo is complete. That was the end of that milestone. So you are done, you're off to the next task. And creating milestones just keeps you motivated and keeps you pushing forward so that you continue. I feel like milestones are just like little mini celebrations that you have for yourself so that you can keep going, just keep swimming and getting to that next goal, I have several mini milestones because that's what keeps me motivated to move forward because there will be times where you're like, oh my gosh, why am I doing this? Like, this is so much work. I want to give up. But when you are checking off milestones, having mini celebrations for yourself, if you even tell your friends like, hey guys, I finished the first phase of my business. I finished the first phase of um, creating my course. I finished the first phase of starting my YouTube channel, whatever the case may be, people will celebrate you and you can also celebrate yourself. So I highly recommend creating milestones so that it keeps you motivated and pushes you forward. Step number four is to set deadlines. When you set deadlines, it gives you structure and accountability, which is essential for achieving your goals. When you have that structure and that accountability aspect, it creates like a formula of success. So when you set a deadline, for example, I want to launch my clothing brand in summer 2023. When you have that goal, now you have to set a deadline. Summer, what month in the summer? Summer can be June, July, August, what month? So let's say I wanna do July 1st, 
2023 is the deadline where I have to have all of my SKUs up, all of my merchandise purchased and printed, um, make sure that my suppliers will have back stock inventory for me, up and ready to go, so on and so forth. So that's your milestone. So now within that, you can create several deadlines for different tasks. Deadlines are what are gonna actually really get you there because now you know you have to hold yourself accountable for completing the task. If you're not holding yourself accountable, who is? That's why we tend to always fall off of our goals because no one's holding us accountable. Like for instance, when we were at school and when we were at work, we accomplished all the goals that they give us because they're holding us accountable and our butt is on the line if we don't complete the task, especially at work. If you don't finish the task that your boss created for you or told you you have to do, you're out of there. You're, you're fired. You're being held accountable for all of these duties. So now when you're doing things for yourself, who's holding you accountable? No one. It's yourself. You have to hold yourself accountable. So the only way to do that is to create solid deadlines. Make sure there's somewhere that you can see them and have reminders, things like that, to keep you motivated to continue so that you don't fall off of your goal plan. Last but not least, step number five is to create systems. I highly recommend creating systems within Notion, Asana, Airtable, whatever project management platform you prefer. Creating those systems in there, they're actually in front of you. You have every detail. You can even buy a planner. Get something to hold you accountable and you can write all of your details in. If you don't want to use pen and paper, like I said, use some type of project management platform to help get you there. Because I want you guys to really achieve the goals that you want. Don't sit around another year waiting and trying to see if it's going to happen. The only way things are going to happen is if you make them happen. And don't fall off of your goals. I feel like every year it's like a cycle. January 1st, I'm going to uh, go to the gym every day. I'm going to eat healthy. I'm going to read my Bible. I'm going to do all of these things. We say that and then sometimes by February 1st, all of that is out the window and it's because we have not created the proper systems in order to get us to our goals. And like I said, I'm a big believer in writing things down. And also when you create a vision board, if you wanna check out that video here, creating a vision board is actually very helpful because you will see your goals in plain view, whether it's on your desktop or on a phone core board in your room, you see those goals and then you, it keeps you motivated every day. Like, okay, I gotta, I gotta get there. I gotta achieve these goals this year. So you don't give up. We don't wanna give up. We wanna succeed and i want you guys to accomplish anything that you want this year because it's so possible and i'm here to support you and create these videos to feed your mind and keep you elevated so that you continue and i'm holding you accountable from afar i know i'm behind the camera but i'm gonna hold you accountable every week when i show up i'm showing up as well for you guys so i just want you guys to show up for yourselves as well. At the end of the day, when you really want to achieve something and help people and do good, you just take all the excuses and push them to the side and you just do it like Nike. You just do it. Make sure you try to follow these five steps and hold yourself accountable. When you hold yourself accountable for anything in this world, you actually see amazing results because no one's really gonna hold you accountable but yourself. So you have to put in that work. So I'm wishing you guys all the success and hey, we're gonna make these goals happen this year, okay? So that's all for today's video. I hope that these steps have helped you and getting you on your way to setting those amazing goals because I know you guys can do it. I'm over here doing and I'm holding myself accountable so you guys can do it too. Drop some of them goals down in the comments. I would love to see what you guys are getting into this year. What do you guys wanna achieve? Like, I'm, I'm super excited for you. And that's all for today's video. If you like today's content, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next week with another video. Peace.